Good day, guys. So yesterday we did a this one. So today we are going to model another one. Okay. So this time we are going to model a use pattern based family. So it's not uh, just one single uh, family. So it's going to be a pattern base. So which you can place onto different uh, surface even curved. Okay, so let's do it. So I'll just close this one. So first, let's create a new family. So it will be a pattern based. Okay, so this will be our uh, base. So it will be uh, first we need um, place some point. Okay, so point, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick the horizontal word plan of these points and place it on, so place them um, on the points. Okay, so on the points, set word plan, place point. So now we have one, two, three, four. And if I give them a, a, a offset, so this can be the thickness, so the thickness of the facade. Okay, so I'm going to just call it um, maybe depth. Okay, so D and type is okay. Okay. Okay, so now, so we because we're going to, it's not going to be extrusion, it will be a, so you know, the previous one we did, uh, the previous one used blend, we, we need to, it need to be offset. Okay, so what we need is some rotation angle and offset. So first select all these four points. So see here, so there is a rotation angle. So we're going to just create an, I'll just call it A, A and um, type as OK, so OK, OK. So now, and also with these four points selected, and then we can turn on the reference plan. So you will see these are the re uh, work, uh, reference plans. So if we go to family types, if I change the angle, you will you will notice. Okay, so for example, 45 degree, see, that's good. So now what we need to do is we need to place point, work, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan. So this time, and place it on the point. Okay, so so you should see this warning, which uh, uh, it's telling you uh, mm -hmm. you did uh, correctly. So vertical, place it on the point. The vertical work plan, place it on the point. Vertical work plan, place it on the point. Okay, so this time, once again, select all the four points and we create another offset. Let's just type in one meter. So we see they offset from, from the word plan. Okay, and then we can create another. So this time I'm going to just call it a, a offset and type. Okay, so, and okay. So now if I select these two, create a spline, and these two spline and these two spline and these two and spline oops reference line sorry reference line yep so now if i select these two and create a form you will see this is the shape we're going to get but we need we still need to the void okay so now let me just hedge, hedge this uh, solid. So we're going to create a void for for this family. So, okay, so let's do it. So first I'm going to use a place point this time, draw on plan, or draw, sorry, draw on face. Okay, and then I'm going to just draw on. So on this reference line, reference line, reference line. So what, oh, yeah, what's this? Let me just HR. I'm going to just delete this one. Oh, we are going to do a model, uh, create it later. 
So once again, draw on face. Oh, still there. Let me just set work plan to uh, level one. Okay. So now work plan, draw on work, uh, point, draw on face, and place it on point, point, point. Sorry, on the reference line, reference line, reference line. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we need to select the point and then you just need to check the this uh, um, handle. So you will see this is on this uh, left hand side, which means the measurement from here. So either the normalized or actually we are going to change this to segment length. So which means the segment length is measure, measured from this point. So that's 5, 14 from this point to here. And if you select this one, it's still on the left hand side, which means the measurement we get is from this point. So what we need is we need to flip this one. So click on this one. So we will flip to here. So which means the segment length here is from this point. Okay, so because we want to have this segment length and this one. So just select all these points. So this one, flip it. So this one should be good. And this one, flip. This one should be good. And this one, good. And then this one needs to be flipped. Same. So we need to do so four, four more. And flip and flip. All good. So now we can select all these 16 points. Okay. So 16. So make sure no, one more and one less 16 and okay and then we can change the segment oh sorry the measurement type to segment length and then we can just type if i type in so for example 500 and you will see it all 500 500 see 500 all good and then we can just create a parameter for this um um not sure maybe thickness maybe and okay and okay okay so now um what we need to do is we need to select these points and create reference line okay create spline and then make it reference line so spline reference line and this one this one spline and reference line this one and uh, this one spline and reference line okay so once again spline and reference line spline and reference line and spline and reference line and spline and reference line okay so now we need to place more points so one just draw on face one here and one here so sometimes it's a little bit hard it's, it's a little hard to you know you just need to rotate a little bit so you can see the uh, the relationship so maybe let's do it this way so one here one here and one here one here one here and one here and then select this point uh, use host point by intersection and pick this reference line same pick this one pick this one and pick this one and then this one pick this this one this pick this reference line pick this reference line and this one pick this reference line okay so now we have eight points so let me just um maybe it's easier to isolate so i'll just uh, select these eight points eight points uh i see um 
maybe not IC because IC is an uh, isolate category. Maybe let me just go back, Control Z, right click, select previous, still eight points. Yeah, uh, maybe HI. Okay, so that's better. So we only have eight points. So now we can select these two, select these two spline, 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 and a spline, and a spline. Spline and spline and spline. So now we can select these eight rep, uh, uh, spline, eight line, and make them reference line. So with these two uh, profile, we can create a void. Okay, and then let's HR to uh, show everything and select these two. Uh, um, rectangular shape and create a solid form and and if it's if it doesn't uh, cut the void automatically you can just go to modify cut solid void okay so this is it and actually um i i, I skipped the the corner the, the um curved i it's in this case it's a bit hard i think it's it's doable but it, it will be take uh extra steps to to make it so maybe next time <laughs> okay so i think this this is all good to go so now we can create i'm just going to use a conceptual mass okay so and let's have a test so i'm going to create a reference line maybe i'll just do a little curve okay so and then create a form and and divide a surface and then i'm going to use uh, maybe i'll try maximum spacing okay so two meter by five i'm not sure actually so what i want to do is i'll just load this in here and select this divided surface and apply this pattern based family so now you will see that's it but of course because it's a uh, um, we, we still need to rotate it okay so looks like we select this one so here so this is all grid rotation so you can rotate the whole thing so for, for example i'll just rotate it by 60 degree for example okay so you will see it's all rotated by 60 degree and we can also rotate uh, either u grid or v grid um, i'm not quite sure i'll just type 30 to see what happens uh, maybe not maybe negative 30 yeah something like that um, so is this maybe I think it looks not quite right uh, maybe uh, 120 degree how about that and uh, not look right negative 660 uh, still not right <laughs> um, 240 uh, I don't know yep maybe we need to change the thickness as well so it looks like oh I think it's okay uh, just need to you know just need to change all the um, the, the rotation and also if you edit type these are extra uh, stuff you can change so for example you can ch change this angle so for example uh, if I change it to 135 and yeah um, and also the depth so if I make it a little bit deeper is that right don't work try this one yeah all good so not this one uh, we'll have a look steps what steps maybe thickness 300 yep I think that's 
that's about it so have a look let's so you can tab select to pick so tab and pick individual uh, family and then you can edit so let's have a look of the depths what's depths uh, yeah it works so I think it works so let's have a try again edit type depths maybe one change it to one meter yeah it works so yeah I think that's that's it so you can just play around so except the curved corner but uh, I think because this is very simple so you can just create a shape of your facade and then apply this it will automatically cut the edge see and also if you want to you can have different options so for example you can overhang you can or empty so you can get rid of all the you know half part uh, family so to, and only have these you know four uh, families okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye